Hi ST fans and welcome back. Dive computers are one of the core essentials of your diving arsenal. Yes, you can go old school and dive without one. Fondly remember dive tables and a diving watch. But why not make full use of the technology at your disposal in this day and age and get the most out of your diving? With a dive computer, you'll be able to safely extend your dive times, especially when you're doing repetitive days of diving. In this video, I look at the budget end of wrist mounted computers. For those here for the first time, and why is that? My name's Mark, I'm the editor in chief of the Scuba Diver Media brand, and welcome to the Scuba Diver YouTube channel. Before we get into this latest video, take two seconds, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future content, and ring that bell so you get notification of the latest releases. Everyone loves something for nothing, right? Check out the description below for all sorts of goodies, like a free digital subscription to any of our magazines. Where we can, we'll link you to the destinations or equipment that we talk about in the support our channel section in the description. For transparency, we'll earn a small commission each time you purchase after clicking one of our links, and this will go directly back into making more content for you to enjoy. Now, let's dive into the video. Dive computers are one of those items that have come down dramatically in price. And what you can get for your money at the budget end of the scale is pretty phenomenal. Now, there is a solid argument for going for a dive computer that can grow with you as your dive skills develop. And I myself am a big proponent of that way of thinking. Buy once, buy wisely has been my mantra for a long time. However, it has to be said, the vast majority of people starting out on their diving journey will never venture into open circuit tech diving or closed circuit rebreathers. So really, they don't need an all singing or dancing computer that has a whole host of features they will never ever use or need. That said, some of the wrist mounted dive computers in our budget lineup, we've set the price bar at under 300 British pounds, do have features that would allow the user to dabble in some entry level technical diving. I'm talking multiple nitrox mixes and gauge mode. So they do have the ability to take you that little bit further in your diving adventures without breaking the bank. By and large though, these computers are designed for recreational diving with air or nitrox and then it's down to the manufacturer as to the type of screen display, number of control buttons, whether it has a user changeable or a rechargeable battery, has Bluetooth connectivity for downloading your dives and so on. Right, so you have a tight budget for your first dive computer. Let's take a look at what is available. The Aqualung i330R. This is a new kid on the block. It's literally just hit the marketplace and it's certainly gonna give the established players a run for their money as it's the only one in this price bracket with a full color screen. The i330R is quite a compact unit but with a vividly bright full color IPS display, it's exceptionally easy to see, even in bright sunlight, bad visibility, and at night. Navigation's via two buttons mounted on the right hand side, and the intuitive menus are simple to scroll through and make changes. It uses the tried and tested Z Plus algorithm to safely maximize your dive time, and once you're back on the surface, you can download your dives to your phone or tablet via Bluetooth. The i330R is factory sealed and has a rechargeable battery. In fact, it's the only computer in this lineup with a rechargeable battery, so there's no worries about flooding it. Battery life is good, but you can top up the juice via the USB and magnetic charging cable as and when you need to on your dive trip. The brightness of that screen can also be dialed down if you want to extend the battery life a little longer. The computer is fitted with a NATO style webbing strap, which is strong and secure, and it looks good as well. Cressy Leonardo. The Leonardo is one of the cheaper models in this budget lineup, but it still has a solid skill set. This puck style computer uses the Cressy RGBM algorithm, which Cressy says has been specially adapted to offer safe decompression diving in a multi day repetitive dive format, which they reckon makes the Leonardo particularly effective for holiday and liverboard diving. Navigation around the menus is a doddle because it's only got a single button. It's got three modes air, nitrox and gauge, and can handle a single nitrox mix from 21 to 50%. 
There are three levels of user adjustable conservatism as well. It's powered by a user changeable CR2430 battery, which is said to last approximately two years, but that obviously depends on how many dives you are doing annually. It also comes in a selection of colors for those who want to brighten up their kit. The Maris Quad. This is one of the larger computers in this lineup, but thanks to its neat design, it's not particularly cumbersome. The display itself is absolutely huge, and the digits on the segment LCD screen are easy to see, but the computer body is quite slimline on your wrist. Navigation of the menus is simple via the four large buttons, but once you're on the dive, these become mirrored. So the top two buttons perform the same function as do the lower, function, lower buttons. This can certainly make things more straightforward when you're on the dive itself. It offers three modes, air, nitrox and gauge, and it can handle up to three nitrox mixes from 21% to 99%. Once you return from your dive, you can download your dives to your phone or tablet via a USB cable or via an upgrade using Bluetooth. It's got a CR2450 user replaceable battery and this lasts for approximately 200 to 300 dives. It also comes in a selection of colors. Scuba Pro Aladdin Sport. This is a puck style dive computer that has two buttons mounted on the front to navigate through the menus. It's got a predictive multigas ZHL16 ADT microbubble algorithm, which will calculate an intermediate stop based on your nitrogen loading, current and previous dives, and your breathing mixes for safer diving. And the user can adjust the microbubble level of conservatism to reflect their age, physical fitness, and experience. The Aladdin Sport is one of only two computers in this price bracket, along with the Sunto Viper, Viper Novo, with a compass to aid navigation underwater. It's powered by a user changeable CR2430 battery, which is said to last approximately two years or 300 dives. The Sunto Viper Novo, that's the latest incarnation of the trusty Viper, and it has had a makeover from its previous guys. It now boasts a new screen display, which features a blend of segment and dot matrix LCD, and it has four buttons for navigation, which brings it in line with Sunto's range of wristwatch style dive computers. The Viper Novo utilizes Sunto's RGBM algorithm for optimized bottom times and descent times, and it can deal with up to three nitrox mixes, ranging from 21 to 99%. It's the only computer in this lineup that has the capability to offer air integration with an optional transmitter on your first stage, and along with the Scuba Pro Ladding Sport, one of only two with a digital compass. So that's our selection of budget wrist mounted dive computers. But which one is the best? Now I've not personally dived all of these yet, but on paper, that new Aqualung i330R takes some beating. The venerable Sunto Viper Novo has a compass and the ability to use air integration. Whereas the i330R has neither of these capabilities, but there's no getting away from the outstanding color screen and that rechargeable battery. And that price point, £269 for a computer that can handle up to three nitrox mixes and has those features, that's a real game changer. It's certainly going to be interesting seeing how the other manufacturers react to this new computer with any future changes they make to their budget range. What is your favourite dive computer? If you're a new diver, are you thinking technical diving is in your future? Leave your comments below. If you've got a question, fire away, because if we can't answer it, I'm sure someone on our ever-growing subscriber list will be able to assist. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our future content. And go check out our playlist for more educational and entertaining videos. Remember to come back next week when we will have a comprehensive review of the new Aqualung i330R. As always, if you're going diving, stay safe.